Hey guys, in this video I am going to share with you something extremely cool. Something that most elite players can't do or they're either simply not exploiting or taking advantage of it. I'm going to show you three drills that I use with the players I work with to teach them a variation of the jump stop which is called the drop and how this instant reaction on the catch of the ball is allowing them to have six different options to use and simply read and react how their defense is closing out to them and exploit whatever the defense is giving them and instantly making them a 10 times better and more effective one-on-one -on -one player. So if this has any interest to you, you might want to stick around for the entire video. And if you're ready, let's go. first drill is basically a warm-up drill where you're practicing coordination and simply just learning to do the actual drop as an isolated skill where you're landing in a wide stance and you're pulling the ball towards your back leg and into the protected position. You're doing this to make sure that you engage your body in the, in the right way to learn how to create the right muscle tension so that you can later push off aggressively into your first step. The second drill trains the sequence following the initial catch and the initial drop. And here it's important for the offensive player to read how the defense is closing out to them. They have four options. If the defense is closing out towards the ball, they have to either rip under or swing over and attack going the opposite way. If the defense is closing out not towards the ball, you simply take that side and attack. As a small side note, I typically teach the players that I'm working with that if they are taller than the defender closing out to them, they should aim to use the swing overhead when they're moving the ball from one side to the other. And if they are smaller than the defender closing out to them, they should rip the ball underneath as a general rule to keep the ball the furthest away from the defender. But of course, you should practice both. The third drill is practicing the final two options of the reading and reacting how the defense closes out to you. And of course, this is the shooting from the protected position and the drop. Now, you use this option if the defender is either very slow to close out on you or don't close out at all because naturally you want to take what is there and what is the simplest solution, which in this case, of course, is just shooting. So you want to keep the ball in the protected position and kick off 
with your opposite side leg and go straight up into your jump shot. Drop, kick and hold. Nice. Drop, kick and hold. Perfect, two more. Drop, kick off, hold. Good. Drop, kick off, hold. Nice, two more. Drop, kick off, hold. Good. Drop, kick off, hold. Good. Okay, so now you've been practicing your six options and awesome, hopefully you got them down. Now it's time to play one-on-one -on -one and do real read and react because now the defense can do anything they like. You're playing one-on-one -on -one and you're basically meeting each other at a certain spot where the offensive player is doing a drop, defense is closing out and they are allowed to play any kind of defense they want and the offensive player has just one dribble. Hopefully this makes sense to you. I love the drop and teaching your drop as a default habit when players are not sure what they want to do yet if they're not sure how the defense is lining up because it affords, it gives you all these six options and you are ensuring that the ball is being protected and you can simply just read and react and you haven't done anything you can do anything outside of this because your body is being loaded with tension as you're dropping down and you can explode any moment and you can do, you can go any side and you will not ever travel. And as always, thanks for watching you guys. If you found this video helpful, don't be afraid to leave a comment or give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the channel and share it with anybody you think it might be of relevance to. And if you haven't already, check out basketballmentor.com. You can also find details on how to join group training sessions or individual workouts like this one. And that's it for now, and I will see you in the next video.